Nowadays, there are so many different types of video connectors from HDMI to DisplayPort, VGA, DVI, Thunderbolt, and even USB Type-C. But what is the difference between these connectors and which one should you use? Welcome to Hari's Hobbies. Starting off with HDMI or High Definition Multimedia Interface which is the most common cable out there. HDMI is present in pretty much all monitors and TVs and is often one of the easiest to use because it does not have any screws on either side. Furthermore, it is cheap and it carries audio. For most people, this should be their first choice. The only scenario in which HDMI may be limiting is if you have a 4K 60Hz monitor but your video source only has HDMI 1.4. HDMI 1.4 only supports up to 30Hz at 4K, but as long as you have up-to-date connectors and cables, you should be good to go with HDMI. The only place that HDMI may become an issue is at high resolutions and high frame rates. DisplayPort adoptions are very slow and lagging in the TV market, but pretty much all monitors nowadays have it. It is in an upward trend due to its high bandwidth which allows for high refresh rates and resolutions, which is perfect for gamers. DisplayPort 1.2, the most common type, supports up to 144Hz at 1080p and up to 60Hz at 4K. DisplayPort 1.2, the most common type, supports up to 240Hz at 1080p and 60Hz at 4K. Newer standards like 1.3 and 1.4 push it even further reaching 120 and 144Hz at 4K. DisplayPort is a favorite amongst gamers due to its support of Adaptive Sync. Adaptive Sync allows for the monitor's refresh rate to adapt to the frame rate of the PC. This is what G-Sync and FreeSync are all about. DisplayPort also supports daisy chaining, so if you have multiple monitors but are limited on display ports or just want to reduce the number of long cables, then this is a great option. Essentially, DisplayPort is the better version of HDMI, but the difference only comes out if you're using multiple monitors or using your computer at a high refresh rate. Otherwise, HDMI and DisplayPort are pretty much identical, even in price. Next up, we have DVI which comes in a handful of variants including DVI-A, DVI-D, Single Link, and Dual Link. DVI does support up to 1440p and 60Hz at 1080p, but it does not carry any audio and is often a hassle to set up. DVI does support 1440p and up to 144Hz at 1080p, however it does not carry any audio and it can be a hassle to plug in. Long story short, in 2019, you really should not get DVI unless you have to. As for VGA, the story is quite similar. VGA actually supports up to 60Hz at 1080p. Oftentimes, when you connect a VGA cable to a high resolution display and the video signal is being converted from analog to digital, there's a loss of image. So again, unless you have to use this, try to avoid it. Next up, Thunderbolt. You have probably heard about this due to Apple MacBooks, but this was actually invented by Intel. They wanted to make a diverse video connector which would take over HDMI and DisplayPort due to its versatility. For example, you don't just have to connect displays using Thunderbolt, you can also connect hard drives and SSDs. However, at this point in time, it really just isn't that common and doesn't pose any serious benefits over HDMI or DisplayPort. It can pass audio and has higher refresh rates usually compared with HDMI, but it is not superior to DisplayPort in terms of refresh rates. Finally, USB Type-C is a more recent addition to the type of video outputs available. It is often very useful with laptops because it carries video, audio, and power. However, USB Type-C does not support adaptive sync like DisplayPort does. USB Type-C is more of a convenience cable designed to reduce hassle with just one single cable. Now that we have covered all the main connection types, which one should you go for? Well, pretty much for everyone, HDMI or DisplayPort is the way to go. USB Type-C may be useful if your monitor supports it and you're going to be using it often with the laptop. But as for DisplayPort versus HDMI, go with DisplayPort if you are using a multiple monitor setup or you would like higher resolutions and refresh rates. However, if you are not looking for anything specific like that, then just go with whichever one is cheaper because they are pretty much identical. But that's just what I think. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that DisplayPort is the future and that HDMI will slowly die out? Make sure to comment down below. Also, 
And if you guys liked this video and thought it was helpful, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.